Welcome everyone, today we are back with another opening video. Today we have Yu-Gi-Oh! We are back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, this is the new Blue Eyes structure deck. Uh, I believe it's called uh, Evans of the Blue Eyes, I believe? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for this deck. For those of you who are following this channel for quite a bit, I'm uh, pretty sure you already know that I'm a huge Blue Eyes fan. I still run my Blue Eyes deck. Um, yeah, with this new deck, I guess you could play pure Blue Eyes again? I'm not sure. <laughs> And I'm not sure how to feel about this because I'm so used to not running a pure blue eyes deck and you know, just super not used to like the I, I'm super used to what I'm running right. I'm running blue eyes with Horus, um with a little bit of level two tuner. It's basically a level eight package uh good stuff, right? So we have the we have the rank eight synchros and we have the level ten wait, rank eight XC, sorry, and the level ten synchros, all the good stuff. So now with this we are reverting back into a more of a pure blue eye. I don't I don't know. I I haven't yeah, reverting reverting more back into a pure blue eyes build. I'm not quite sure how to feel about this, which means I have to relearn a lot of stuff. I for I have been playing like blue eyes mix for the longest time. Even before Horus is out. My blue eyes like wasn't pure. I've mixed with like uh maybe a little bit of like um branded stuff. I even at one point I mixed with Beast Chill, at one point mixed it was mixed with Dragon Mate. It was a mix. Uh for the most part. So I don't know. I guess now I must relearn how to play Pure Blue Eyes with this new stuff. Um hopefully it's it, it flows smoothly. But yeah, anyway, uh let's quickly get to opening this. Um very excited for this deck, obviously. Blue eyes stuff is always good. I, I was, you know, early in this year, I was like, okay, uh, all the old archetypes, enemy archetypes are getting support, you know. And I was like, is Blue eyes gonna get the support this year? And lo and behold, a couple months back, they announced a, a uh, Blue eyes structure deck, right? So I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, Konami will always print this, I guess. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's go. Careful not to slash myself. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a pen knife at home, unfortunately. All right. Here we go. This is the blue eyes structure deck. Look at the box here. Uh, and it comes with this special promo pack with all the, the all the new blue eyes cards in this. The chance to get see uh, there's always a secret in here, but there's a chance secret foil. I mean. And there's a chance to get a quarter century rare, I believe. You'll get to that um later. So this is a new blue eyes uh structure deck. Very cool looking. Um that's the new blue eyes spirit blue eyes ultimate spirit dragon. Sorry. There we go. Very, very strong card. This is a Omni Negate. Blue eyes have our own Omni Negate now. But I know this is gonna be abused in other as well because I, I believe you could summon this using um, Crimson Dragon I, I think I believe so but yeah so this is going to be abused in other decks as well I uh, hope it's not over abused I don't think it would be but I hope it's not uh, I, I, I don't want it to get banned right <laughs> it would be very unfortunate if it gets banned and then the, we have the new Maiden of White pretty strong card um I remember her on play ability, yeah, on summon... Oh yeah, I can, I can discard this card from my hand, or my field, and then, um... Basically send this card from my field or my hand to the graveyard, and I can add the trap card. The, uh, for my hand, deck, or grave, I can, uh, play the true light continuous trap directly face up onto the field. So, yeah, I don't have to set it, it just goes face up directly. And I don't think it's an activate. Uh, yeah, it just goes face up. It is not an activate, so it just goes face up. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. And then she has a typical effect when targeted. You know, it's the same as the old version of her when she gets targeted for effect or attack. She can she can spawn a like blue eyes monster. Uh, previously, it was only blue eyes white dragon, but this is any blue eyes monster, I believe. We have new Kaiser Seahorse. It's a new level four tuner. Another one of Kaiba's card, right? The Kaiser Seahorse. Basically, he allows himself to uh, synchro. He allows to drop his own level by one, so they can synchro and do this. Because this requires two tuners. If you're gonna synchro him out uh, normally, and then we have this is I believe this is prayers, prayer of the blue eyes or something like blue eyes prayers, prayers of the prayers of the blue eyes. Yes, there, there, there we go. 
I'm um, pretty sure some of you guys already know this, but this art here is shown in the animation, uh, the 25th anniversary yu gi animation when they were showcasing all the popular archetypes. And this was actually uh, like the main screen for the, for the when they were showing the Blue Eyes archetype. Pretty cool. Uh, this is Saga of the Blue Eyes, I believe. Also another really good card. It's basically an Eldritch spell, but for Blue Eyes. Because <laughs> you can activate this, you can summon a Blue Eyes monster from your deck directly. Uh, but if you do not already have an original copy of the, uh, not original, copy, if you do not have a blue eyes white dragon in name on the board, um, <laughs> you are forced to summon only blue eyes white dragon. But if you already have him on board, you can summon any blue eyes from the deck, any blue eyes monster. So it's basically almost like a eldritch spell, but just for blue eyes. And but if he has an engraver, yeah, he has a graveyard effect. So you can banish this and uh, use it as a fusion uh, spell to summon a uh, use it as a fusion spell with materials including blue eyes. Just some to fusion summon, basically. So you can technically use this for guarding Chimera as long as you use Blue Eyes as a material. Uh, I forgot what this is called. Uh, I, I remember I wasn't particularly excited with this trap card because I read the effect. I'm like, uh, oh, okay, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the main thing it's it's a trap card, right? It, 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 yeah, you, you you blow up stuff according to how many Blue Eyes you have in your hand, field engrave, I believe. Um, but yeah, never really a fan of trap cards unless they are in a specifically a trap based deck. So, and here we have the original Blue Eyes. Uh, I'm very happy that they give three different art. Look, we have Blue Eyes 1, Blue Eyes 2, and Blue Eyes 3. Unfortunately, they didn't give the original art, the one from uh, Legend of... No, I cannot say Legend of Blue Eyes. At least, uh, yeah, because Legend of Blue Eyes is this one. Here. Uh, my least favourite art. I'm just saying. Might be a hot take, but this is my least favourite art for Blue Eyes. Uh, but the one from the starter deck, sorry. Yeah, the starter deck blue eyes. I, I like that one the most. We have alternative... It's so weird. And we have alternative dragon. It's so weird seeing alternative dragon as a paper card, not foil. Jet dragon as well, paper. Very, very... This is very good structure deck for blue eyes. If you want to play blue eyes. It, it's... All the important cards are here. Uh, of course, you need to buy at least... I would say at the very minimum, two of these decks, because they only give one of each of these. Uh, generally, you only run one jet dragon, but you might run one or two alternative dragons. So maybe one or two structure deck. Um, best is three. If you get three structure deck, of course, so you get plays out of everything. Uh, you have Abyss Dragon. This was at one point a really expensive card, uh, but now it's paper. <laughs> and Spirit Dragon. Uh, it's a decent card right now. I mean, not right now. It's a decent card, but uh, I don't know if I'll use it yet again. Still, it used to be a very heavily played card, but not quite anymore. Uh, Chaos Max is a paper again. Very interesting. Uh, this is Blue Eyes. This is Chaos. Boy's Chaos Dragon, I believe. This is Chaos Man and this is just Chaos Dragon, I believe. Um, once again, another one that I don't really use. In fact, I don't really use Chaos Max as well, actually. But um, it's a fun card. <clears throat> I mean, I use, I did use Chaos Max at one point, but most of my more newer, updated, modern builds, I don't really run Chaos Max anymore. Because it can be a break, right? Okay, so we have the uh, the stone, and then of course we have the ancient stone as well. And then we have the sage, uh, the eyes of blue. This was, when it first was printed, this was a really expensive card as well. When I say really expensive, I mean it's like around 20 bucks, 30 bucks, around there. And then look, the deck just straight up gives you three copies now, so perfect. And then we have the dictator of D, uh, pretty important card if you're playing a pure blue eyes deck. Pretty important, and you give two copies. And then, strangely enough, a Nibiru, which I... I feel that Blue Eyes deck wouldn't be running this, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Ash? Ash goes in almost every deck. Uh, and then one one Ash, one Maxi. Yeah, that's going to make a difference. <laughs> uh, and then we have Effect Veiler, of course. Because this is searchable by uh, the uh, Sage, uh, Sage with the Eyes of Blue, which is... Uh, let me just get back to him real quick. This card. Because when he's summoned, he, you can search your deck for a level 1 light tuner monster, and Effect Veiler is a level 1 light tuner monster. So you search the Eyes of Blue can search you a hand trap, effectively, basically. Okay, it gives you two copies, I believe. Oops, sorry. Yep, two copies of it. Um, we have the Chaos Form, the Ritual Spell for the Chaos Dragons, the Ultimate Fusion for the, uh, the Fusion Monsters. Two copies, I believe one is enough, but hey, all up to you. And we have the Melody of Awakening Dragon, very important kind of deck for you to search for your Blue Eyes monsters. Two to three copies in a deck usually. This is the Molosium of uh, White, or the White Molosium, I believe. 
Oh, uh, Monazel Light, sorry. Uh, uh, one of those names, I, I can't remember anymore. But this is this, I believe this is the first time it was reprinted in like years. The last reprint, if I'm not wrong, it shouldn't, I don't think it was reprinted in quarter century pride. I don't think it was, but if it is, then I'm wrong, I guess. But the last this was reprinted in, I believe it was uh, Shining Victories. The very first appearance of it and the very last. I mean, right now is the uh, first time it was reprint is, is reprinted, right, finally. Because this um, Mausoleum of Light can be searched by a Link monster. We'll get to that later. But this is a searchable card now. It wasn't searchable back then. I mean, it was searchable by Terraforming, but which field spell isn't searchable by, uh, by Terraforming? But yeah, this is searchable now. We have our own searcher for this. <laughs> this is a uh, birth stream of destruction. Uh, I always prefer the Japanese name, the Hodobi Nobasto stream. <laughs> uh, very iconic. Uh, basically, it's Blue Eyes attack, right? His attack, his signature attack name. But I uh, can never get sick of hearing Kaiba shout this attack every time. Uh, trade in. Um, I already did build my Blue Eyes deck, like the, the blueprint of it. Uh, after all these new cards, I don't have space for trading. Just saying. So I do not know my if my build is going to be viable. I don't know. But I do not have space for trading right now. My deck does not have space for this card. So I might be building it wrong. I don't know. It requires testing. I'll need to test it out. So two trading. This is a very good reprint as well. A uh, Call by the Grave. And then we have the True Light. The new trap card which is searchable by the new Maiden of Light. Maiden of Light, sorry. And then this is Ultimate uh, Creature of Destruction, once again, it's a trap card. Pretty strong effect, but I do not think it's uh, that necessary at the moment, I don't know. Maybe further testing required, but at the moment, the only trap card I run is True Light. Uh, this is a Destined Rivals, pretty cool. Blue Eyes versus... Uh, wait, is that really Blue Eyes or is it just... Yeah, okay, it is Blue Eyes. Okay, Singular Blue Eyes versus a Dark Magician. <laughs> Iconic scene, right? From the anime. An iconic scene, I mean, it's an iconic duo from the anime. We have Infinite Impermanence, very good reprint. They, there are pretty a lot of staples in this, so even when we were just picking this, this up for the uh, for the, the staples, I guess that's still fine. Because I know some of these cards are actually play these Blue Eyes cards are actually playable in other decks. So this is the new Xyz Blue Eyes. Um, I call it Blue Eyes, but it's not Blue Eyes. I believe his name is Ivory Eyes Silver Dragon. Just trying to be funny. We had Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, now we have Sil Ivory Eyes, no, Indigo Eyes, sorry, Indigo Eyes, Silver Dragon, sorry. In the Ivory is not a blue, not, 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 not a blue hue at all, okay, but yeah. So this is a new Xyz monster for the Blue Eyes deck, I guess. It's a pretty strong card. Uh, requires two level 8 uh, dragons, no, two level 8 monsters to Xyz summon into. Um, no, sorry, two level 8 dragons, so you're kind of stuck to playing dragons with this, so I guess Blue Eyes himself will be playing this, obviously, and then... Uh, Galaxy Eyes can slightly capitalize all of this as well. But this card cannot direct attack if you do not have normal type monster in his material. So the Galaxy Eyes will not be able to cap capitalize off of that unless you mix the deck, of course. But uh, pure Galaxy Eyes can run this, but you cannot direct attack with this. So there is a downside. The upside of this card is when it summoned all your opponent's face up card, uh, effects are negated. And that's permanent, by the way, I believe. It's not until the end of the turn. Yes. So when this card is XC summon, all your opponent's face up cards lose their effects. Not until the end of the turn, just lose their effects. So as long as they stay face up on the field, they do not leave the field. They just stay face up. They are their effects are blank. So they are just blank text. They're, they're continuous spell, they're continuous trap, their face up monsters, their field spell. It's all blank text. So this is actually a really good card, in my opinion. Uh this is a new blue eyes. Uh, Link monster, I believe it's called Blue Eyes Spirit. Um, this is the one that allows you to search for the mausoleum, the field spell I was talking about earlier. So yeah, you can search the field spell with this. It's a singular, it's a singular Link, uh, material monster. So you can use the stones or the magicians, the I mean the sages, the white sages to summon him. We have the OG Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. We have the new Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. We have the Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. And we have the Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. We have the Blue Eyes, uh, I believe it's the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, yeah. This is the, the Synchro version. And then this is the Azure Eyes, uh, Silver Dragon. Uh, I don't know if you'll still, I, I'm not running this anymore. There's just no space in the extra deck anymore. 
And then of course there's the heretic spheres, which is always an option, but I have no space for this here. Alright, now we're down to this. This is the this pack, the cards already in here. Like it's a reprint. This pack contains all the new not reprint, sorry. It contains all the new cards. Not not all, but just just five of them. Uh out of all the nine, I believe. I think I believe there's new nine new cards. Let's see. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, there's eight new cards. Yeah, there are eight new cards. I think I thought there was nine. Huh. Okay, anyway, there's eight new cards, so uh out of the eight, there's five in here, and they're all foiled. So if you want a shiny version of this, the non-foiled, like the white, the the maiden of white. I mean, this is already foiled, I guess, but like these are not foiled. So you want a foil one, you have to get it from this. So kind of making you buy more than one, I guess. <laughs> more than, or maybe even more than three, even a full rarity or stuff. Um, yeah, typical Konami move, right? Okay, let's see what we get here. Right, I believe the secret or the, the, the quarter century will be the last card. Okay. So here we have the uh the axes, the foil version of the axes, uh blue eyes, indigo eyes. The trap card, not excited about that. This is the um the link the boy spirit dragon. We got a Kaiser Seahorse. Okay, nice. And, and I guess that's a secret. We got a secret rare version of the prayer of the blue eyes. Nice. So yeah, that concludes the structure deck opening. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, until then, probably see you guys ending next time. I don't know with what type opening, but uh, yeah, see when you see you guys. I guess. Anyway, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys again next time. Bye bye.